Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So after posting yesterday that Microsoft Excel's web app now has a new modernized UI, plus some other major improvements that Microsoft rolled out to Excel online recently, it seems now that once again Microsoft is giving the Office web apps quite a lot of attention. And late yesterday in my region on the 3rd of uh, July, Microsoft has rolled out now some major file menu improvements in Word, Excel, and PowerPoint for the web, which they say, and the goal of this is to make the file menu um, a lot easier to use and to be a lot more lightweight, which I'm always in favor for when um, things are decluttered and just become a lot more practical and simpler to use. Now, apparently the first big change is, as you may well know, if you're using, um, as an example, Word um, online, currently this is what the file menu looks like. So it's quite cumbersome and quite legacy. And this is what it's going to be replaced with, which I think is a lot better. And you can see they replaced the previous full screen menu with a smaller drop down menu. And apparently there will also be options for creating a new file opening a current file, sharing, the export, sharing and exporting the current document, printing and checking the version history. And I think this is a very nice move in the so-called right direction. Now, at this stage, though, these changes are not rolling out to everyone. Um, Microsoft's kind of A-B testing it at this stage, but it should roll out uh, in August or thereabouts to the general public. So I can't show you any of these in real time, um, but I'm just going to use a couple of... Uh, GIFs and screenshots taken from that announcement by Microsoft just to give us a general idea and just go through these uh, features that are rolling out um, in case you would be interested. Now what's new? So over and above the file menu as mentioned, if we just head to our first little GIF here, um, you can now rename a file by selecting its title. So as you can see, you select a file name near the top of the browser window and type the name you want. And the next uh, little improvement is autosave has got a new look. So after you, um, your changes are saved automatically, as you can see, a green cloud icon will appear next to the file name in the title bar to give you a visual confirmation that your changes have been saved. And the next is all about uh, quickly displaying your folder structure with Microsoft saying you can either select the cloud icon next to the file name in the title bar or tap the file menu to show the file location. So I think some small little significant improvements rolling out um, for the Office web apps as mentioned. Then the next is apparently now you don't need to save as. Um, apparently your file is always auto-saved so you can also create a copy of your file online or download it to your computer, which I think is a nice move. And then two more to go as far as I can see here. And the second last one is you can export to PDF and other formats. And Microsoft says the commands associated with saving your work in different formats are now available under File Export and no longer File Save As. So that's a small little change there just to be aware of. And then the last one for this video is that there are now uh, new commands on the file menu. So the Move and Version History commands are now available on the file menu as we can see. So some small, but I think significant little changes that are coming into that new file menu as mentioned. And I think this is a very nice move in the right direction because I only use the Office web apps. Um, I don't use um, you know, Office for Windows 10 or Windows 11. I use only the web apps. So I think for me, this will be a very nice step going forward. And the availability, as mentioned, all these um, improvements are currently rolling out to a targeted release to targeted release users in Word, Excel and PowerPoint for the web and Microsoft say and are expected to be generally available to all users starting in August as mentioned this year 2024. So if you are using the Office web apps like I do on a regular basis then I think some small but significant changes making their way into those apps in August of this year. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.